Trials 2, second edition, final stream, is the plan. Hopefully things pan out that way. I had to do some, uh, I had to do some cleanup of the levels that we weren't able to do on stream last time I played this. I did clear them, eventually, after setting aside lots of uh, time and effort to doing so. Better do this at the start of every stream, because this game is weird. Oh, Darian. Oh. Did I have the... I might have had the chat box uh, accidentally disabled for previous streams. Uh, so. Turns out I actually did miss one of the previous tracks. Two of the previous tracks. I missed two of them? An affair with boxes. Oh, I had to play some levels to unlock the final two. And I missed one of the dynamic tracks. So I guess I'll have to go back for those. I'm gonna... I'll start with the downloadable ones, because that was the, the point of the final stream. Take out some of those, and if I get stuck, then I'll have some alternative levels that I can go to. Once again, I have to remember which button resets and which one just goes back to the checkpoint. They're right next to each other. And that can cause some problems sometimes. The downloadable. I wonder if these are... They're not fan-made. I guess. These must be just like extra levels that Red Link's made after the game's release. Front oh, flip. Oh, that was the end of the level. Wow, that was an easy one. I'm doing good today. I've been, uh... Exploring freelance writing. Making some, uh, short stories and articles to submit to places. Places that I found out will pay for the submission of things. Unlike the literary journals I've just submitted to small college ones in the past that were just voluntary donations of work. That's fine, I can save this. Let's just go through the fire. Okay, maybe not. I've been doing that and I have a animated pitch someone is making for Netflix that I'm auditioning for uh, roles in. So I've been, I've been busy this week. Probably not. Oh, God. Uh, other, in other news, uh, Pokemon Unite, the MOBA has been released. The free Nintendo Switch Pokemon MOBA. Which I considered doing a stream of just because, you know, it's a new game, people are going to be talking about it. But I looked at the trailer again. I'm not... I don't really like MOBAs. Awesome Knots was the exception because it was 2D. This is more along the lines of, you know, the traditional League and Dota. It didn't look like my kind of game. 
And also, supposedly, the uh, dev, Tencent, has some uh, very bad business practices, so. I'm cool not streaming it. I'll, I'll skip this one. Uh-oh. It looks conceivable that I could get on top of there. But I'm pretty sure they don't intend me to, because that's a little bit, uh... I would like to not get my wheel stuck like that. If it happens again, maybe there's a way I can finagle. Not a few minutes into the stream. One fellow who uh, commented on the previous trials stream on YouTube, so. I guess I can take, I'll take that. I don't think I was supposed to do it that way, but I'll take it. Hello, person on YouTube. I hope you're enjoying the continued playthrough. I think Trials Evolution, the game after this one, is laid out a little more clearly in terms of the single player. Trials 1 and 2 are kind of just a collection of levels, and then you just, like, go nuts, have fun. It's very, very informal. Very Happy Wheels-esque. Okay, this is fine. I'll go down here. No, I won't. It makes you feel cool when you do easy levels in this game. Everything just flows so nicely. Oh, we got a loop. We got a very tiny loop. Uh, hmm. Okay. Imagine if they had levels like this in a Crash game. I don't know why that thought suddenly occurred to me. Mostly because of how bad the motorcycle levels in Crash were, I think, is why that occurred to me. They had Marble Madness style levels in the form of the, the ball levels in uh, Wrath of Cortex. We talked in uh, Wickersham's Majora stream yesterday about how he preferred the, like, the game design of Spyro 1 over Spyro 2 from what he had seen of it. Insofar as Spyro 1 is just a very traditional collectathon, you go to the place, you get the thing. Whereas Spyro 2 is. A lot of the collectibles, the orbs, are behind minigames. So it's a very minigame 
or missions, I should say. It's a mission-based platforming collectathon. It's okay. They're just wood. It's fine. This is a level. Boy, this is a lot of paths. This is like a Sonic the Hedgehog level. Imagine levels like this in a Sonic game. That'd be neat. Okay, maybe, maybe that wouldn't work for Sonic. It was already strange enough that in Sonic R, everyone was on foot, but you didn't just like run around on foot like a platformer. You had an accelerator because it was a, a racing game. You get used to it pretty quickly, but just describing it, it feels very weird. It's a, it's a very weird game design choice. You know what the closest I think there is to this kind of gameplay being in a platformer might be Cloudberry Kingdom. Because there's different level gimmicks in that game. It's a 2D platform that's procedurally generated. And if I remember right, one of the gimmicks is... You can be, like, on a vehicle, or you can be strapped to something where you have to be rolling forward all the time. That's kind of like this. I guess that's more... No, they're more like minecart levels, is what those are. Minecart level's always been in platforming games. Oh no. Oh no! I wonder what the Happy Wheels devs are up to these days. If they went on to do anything else. I don't actually know who made it. Actually, I don't know what Red Links is doing besides Trials games. Is this all they have to them? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, but... Oh, what are we what are we doing? How did I not die? It's it's, it's a giant scrotum. I didn't want to say it. But I kind of have to. I feel obligated to notify you of this fact. <laughs> Survive! Okay. Try it. Okay. Dead. Not unconscious. Fucking dead. So in the ongoing saga of Nicktoons or Nick All Star Brawl.
the Hugh Neutron support is exploding. And the official voice actor for Hugh, which... Who doesn't have a whole lot of other, like, really big roles. Not even the Hugh Neutron is that big a role, but that's his, like, his most well-known role is Hugh Neutron. And he's loving the attention. He's just, people are sending him, like, memes and lines to record as Hugh Neutron. He's, he's digging into it. Which is a very smart career move. If he's not having a lot of, like, uh, if he's not getting a lot of roles, this is a sure way to get noticed. Get back on the radar again. Good for him. Nick Game already has, like, Smash fan support insofar as the, you know, the, the game design, the rollback netcode, things like that that people want in Smash. If they actually add the Waluigi equivalent, Hugh Neutron, if enough fans request him, boy, people are gonna love those devs. Probably not up to the devs, though. It's, it's a, it, I imagine it's a Nick decision. And you know what I think Nick's DLC choice is going to be? It's going to be Camp Corral on the Patrick Star Show. That's a, yes sir, we're going to get advertising DLC. That's what Nick will do. Part of me wants to see some kind of live-action Nick representation, just like a level or something. Just because of how stupid it sounds. I want to see Patrick beating up Jimmy Neutron in the iCarly studio. What is, it? What, is it? what is this baby level? Why do I feel patronized? Was that supposed to be a wheelie level? Speed wheel. Yes, it must have been. Easy, medium, only too hard and dynamic. Diablo. Oh, that sounds fun. I think Diablo is the hardest course in this game. If I remember correctly, I, th I think the one of the earliest Achievement Hunter videos in Trials was Jack playing the Diablo level. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're good. We're live. Still in it. No faults. And fault. Happy Wheel devs are fancy force and they never made anything else. That's a shame. Wait, is that the end? Uh, hmm. Not that Happy Wheels was ever really anything but the Trials ripoff, but with more blood and meme ability, but... Okay. That was a weird choice to trigger then and not the other times. Classic. Oh boy. Oh no. Ah.
calculator. I have a uh, Tony Hawk's Underground Pro highlights almost done. We didn't play any music for that stream, so I want to put some in the highlights, which adds a little bit of time to it. I gotta figure out what songs to use. Oh no. Oh, come on! of speed there again. I think we're out of the easy levels. Who's putting all these logs here? And why are they nailing them to the ground so that they do not roll? playing Burnout Paradise on my own in my free time. And they really made a concerted effort to uh, keep the violence in that game to a minimum. Keep that E10 rating. There's no drivers in any of the vehicles. And if you crash on a motorcycle, the driver just disappears. Here we go. Oh no. Steady. Ah! Gotta go straight up and straight down. There we go. Checkpoints after checkpoints after checkpoints. Well, they knew people were going to struggle with these tires. I guess. It's not that bad. Hello, camera. What are we doing? Go. Where are we? Uh, yeah, that was the first medium ones. You know what? I'm gonna go back up and do one of the ones that we didn't do. We missed a dynamic level for one. This game's UI is very strange.
hope there's more of these kinds of levels in the future games. These are interesting. Dynamic levels. I get how they're kind of against the game's design, but they're interesting all the same. Oh, it's like the it's like the hanging bridge on that on playgrounds. Oh, okay. Just wait for those to go. That seems wise. Oh boy. That's a landing. Okay. What about the hard levels we skipped? Diablo and Inferno. making a big leap in difficulty here, going from, like, little silly medium levels to the hardest two in the mainline game, I realize. A little bit. So start forward, then back and forward again. That's how we do it. It's just, it is, it is just, you gotta get just the right series of inputs for all these strange motions on a motorbike. Bike foo is a difficult thing to master. Well, not too far forward. And remember, you only have two states in this game. You have leaning forward and leaving ba leaning backward. And I guess a range in between, but... Tapping left just sends you full back. And right just sends you forward. And you stay there until you move the stick in a different direction. It's an odd thing to imagine in a, in a in another game like Mario. If you just had to tap right and he would continue moving right until you pressed in another direction. Okay, what's this? Okay, we're doing a flip. Optional flip. Not so optional flip. Very not optional flip if you don't want to die. Nope, back. Back we go. Oh, come on, front tire. I, I'm a bat.
that bike. Okay. Oh, oh, we had it! If I can just get my back wheel on this stupid platform and stop being a bat. play any of those ATV games. I have never played an ATV game. They're like uh, racing games, typically, aren't they? Like dirt racing? Or are there like, uh, are there stunt ATV games like Tony Hawk? They add ATVs to uh, trials at some point. I don't remember which game they started being a thing. stunts mid-race, I assume there's, like, bonuses to that, like, you get a boost meter or something. Or, uh, like, points, maybe. Oh, come on. Get up. You can do it! Maybe I need to do the, I need to do like a skip on the second box and not go in that gap at all. That's the way to do it. Yes, sir. I just need to go at speed. Probably do it either way, but this seems a little bit more effective. Yeah. That's how we do it. Get up. Please get up. Please don't fall back down. Okay. Well, so far I'm making much better progress on this than I did on the, on the hard levels last stream. Please get up.
You ever feel like you're just not getting anywhere in life? A lot of professor really noises. Well, well oh, thank you. Fair with boxes. All right, Inferno. How bad is this gonna be? flip this is a, this is a time for coffee this is a good time for coffee dead space remake trailer just dropped I've never played dead space I had a friend who was into it I know it's like uh, survival horror right what year did it come out it was like a PS3 game, Dead Space 1. Probably about the same time as this game. I want to say like 2008. First art, first obstacle. May have to come back to Inferno. Let's come back. So we got Inferno, which is the hardest regular course in the game, to my not. Oh, whoops, what did I do? Just this UI, man. Let's continue the downloadable tracks. If we can clear all but Diablo and Inferno, I'll be happy. It'd be cool if we cleared one of those, but... I will accept finishing this game without that. They put three checkpoints on three tires in a row on the on like the last stage. And now they can't put a checkpoint here. I gotta make this jump every time. I cleared Diablo once. Ha 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 ha. But did you go to the cow zone? That was in Diablo 2, right? It became a thing after it was like a, a community, a fan myth or joke for Diablo 1. This is how you ride a dirt bike.
Yeah. Lots of flips on this stage. Why you gotta use ladders? They're just they're just like shitty platforms. That was just me not paying attention. What is this? Why am I going down like this? Do I want to do this? All according to plan. Should tell uh, Nick the Romani mask has a secret function. Let's you access the cow zone, and it's it's satanic, and you can get a lot of uh, XP there. I used to always find it really interesting to watch videos of like hidden, often creepy things in games, particularly games that I'd never played. Like there was a. What, what channel was it? Honestly, it was probably one of those, like, uh, one of those list channels, like, uh, 40 creepy Easter eggs in video games, that kind of thing. There was, like, a room full of hooks, uh, like a dungeon in, uh, World of Warcraft that went unused. I think the cow zone and the... the clown in The Sims came up. either in Fable or one of the Elder Scrolls games. There's like a bunch of kids that you can follow that do some kind of weird death cult thing. So this is a slope. I remember Fable being, like, one of the very few things on Xbox that a young me was interested in. Because at the time, a karma system seemed so novel. That was the game's selling point. You could be the good guy or the bad guy. And, you know, that was before, like, Infamous, or a lot of the games that have since come to do it. I think it was, pretty sure it was before Shadow the Hedgehog was Fable 1.
I also learned that the game that I thought was the first, like, Battle Royale, the culling, was not, in fact, the first Battle Royale game. Although it was the first standalone Battle Royale game. Apparently it originated as a game mode in H1Z1. So you have that to thank for the culling and, by extension, PUBG and Fortnite is H1Z1. Oh no. We're, we're at the top. Don't ruin it now! Ah! I haven't done it yet. I'm waiting for me to accidentally press the level reset button. It happens at least once per trial stream. God, I hope they move those buttons in the next game. That would be wonderful. There we go. A lot of checkpoints on this level. They're real generous. Where were these in the last level? That's a way to go. I think these are going to be fun highlight streams. Just because every once in a blue moon, I'll get to cam a particularly stupid looking death. And it's gonna make for a good compilation putting all of those together. It's not a good stream game, but this is a good highlights game. Come on. There we go. It, he, look, he parked his bike. All our skates, get out of here. Is that squirrels? There's squirrels. I don't think it's an achievement, but there are squirrels down there. That's the kind of place where they, I, I guess they've started to hide them. They started to have some cheeky little fun with the squirrels. Although I guess it's not that every squirrel is an achievement, it's usually an achievement for finding all of them. That- did that- that barrel move? It was 
a little bit of dynamics there, it looked like. Oh, no. Okay, we got another one of those little wedges that the bike can't quite fit down, which leads to wacky physics. Fortunately, we will not have to spend a lot of time there. Speedway. I like speed. Speed is the fun part of Trials. Okay. I think I can save this. Squirrels, they very poised to watch death spot. They knew people were gonna die here, that's why they put the squirrels there. He just, he phased through the board. That was supposed to decapitate him. End is near. Oh, we're at the end. Great. Well, I'm gonna skip ahead to you shall not pay. What? Okay, I'll do Diablo first. I'll give it a shot. We have three tracks left and they're all on the hard difficulty. We've been going less than an hour, so... Unfortunately for me, we have lots of time to dedicate to these tracks. What is this? Are you serious? Excuse me? Okay, gonna get, uh, gonna get tricky, gonna get technical here. Try to start forward, and then back, and then forward. Nope. I feel like I'm not understanding something. Do they expect me to do that? You can't do that in this game. You can't catch your back tire on something and do the, the flip over. I think that is what they need, they want me to do. It is Kaizo Trials. This, they want me to do the, the back wheel catch flip. That famous Trials technique that I just made up the name for just now. What? Wow! Oh, come on! That's a checkpoint! Let's come back to Diablo. Let's see you shall not pass. Maybe this will be easier than Diablo, despite being later in the list. It is a wall of shit. Is the is the you shall not pass level? Mm -hmm. 
Perhaps I will not pass. The, uh, the YouTube fella said that the few times he had seen the Trials game streamed, the streamers often just went through the medium levels and, and just didn't bother with the hard ones. They just take too much screen time, too much stream time to be worth it. Which I get. Trying the same thing for too long just isn't interesting to watch. We have about an hour to cycle through these three levels. That I can continuously attempt at them, I guess. Well, I made it over the gap. I lost my footing afterwards. I think holding forward all the time is not helpful. However, leaning back might be? Yeah, leaning back is the way to go. Despite intuition, you'd think leaning back would cause you to fall backwards. Maybe this is harder than Diablo after all. So far, I'm gonna guess Inferno, the non-downloadable hardest level, is probably gonna be my best bet of these three. Let's go back to that. Those final two levels down there. We did every other one. We just got those two and we got Inferno. So let's try Inferno. With coffee. This seems so digestible after the one I just got off of. Like, yeah, I can do this. I just gotta do the back that the back wheel flip grab kick turnover. I think it was called something else the last time I mentioned it. So how are you guys? This is my life for the next hour. Oh! Ah. Well, I need to get my back wheel up there in order to uh, actually roll anywhere.
Ooh, we have it. We have it. Just gotta stay up here. And we're down. Now, if only I had paid attention to what I did in that instance. At least I don't have to worry about whether I'm using the right bike or not. There's only one in this game. In future trials, you have multiple bikes to choose from with different stats. Including an ATV eventually. I would not want to be attempting this on an ATV. process of looking at apartments in Seattle to move back up with Jack. However, we have not found anything yet, so it is still uh, inconclusive if that will be happening or not. Surely this is the hardest part of the level. I'm not gonna get over this and find an even more difficult section waiting for me on the other side. Surely. There's certainly a way to do this consistently. I just don't know what it is. A certain combination of ways to lean at certain times. I suppose that's a redundant thing to say. That's this entire game.
Oh. Ah. Yes, do the hook over. Do the hook over. Ah, I almost had it. I'm going to call it the wheel hook. The legendary ultimate trials technique. And I keep hitting the gas, and I spin around the wrong way anyway. Shouldn't have gassed. For hooking the front tire is useless. The front tire doesn't move. If I get past to the first checkpoint, then I'm committed to a level. Otherwise, I'll probably swap to, uh... I'll probably swap to the Diablo level in, like, 15-minute intervals. Uh, no, Jack's not willing to move far, so. Kind of limited to near where he's at now. Again, so close, but so far. Maybe getting past this first section is enough. Maybe this will be something that I can be proud of. I don't need to do the whole level. I'll bet just getting past this jump will be something that many have failed to do. It'll be like a 1.8% achievement on Xbox Live. Remember those?
Yes. Yes. Stay up. No! Ah! Oh wait, what? Oh! Oh, I forgot about these. There are more that- What is with this weird scroll that doesn't work? I can't- Here, let's do these. Let's take a break. This is nice. No impossible jumps to get up. Playing with the 3D a little bit. I want to see the dominoes. Let me over. Physics. on this level. We're getting quite a substantial first obstacle. Come on, come on, here we go. Ah, you mother! I, I, I gotta do the back wheel hook. That's what I gotta do. Here 
we go. Wait, where's the checkpoint? Oh. I have to do the dominoes in order to progress in the level. Oh, man. They're actually using the dynamics as part of the level design? Okay, that's not true. I can bump it myself. No, I can't. Oh, please go down. There we go. Domino, save me. Yeah. I don't want to die here. <sighs> well, the back wheel hook seems to be the most effective thing for this monstrosity. Just gotta be real careful on this, uh, whatever this is. The, 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 the tire's in an awkward spot. Okay, checkpoint. Yes! Oh, uh, am I not supposed to go under here? Seems perhaps unintended for me to go under here. What did that do? Did that do anything? Anything at all? Did not appear to do anything. Can I go over that? Maybe with enough skill. Maybe with the reverse, the back wheel flip, I can go over that. Probably not, though. Definitely not. Oh! I see. I need to not bring it all the way down, but I need to ride it low enough that I can make just the jump into there. This is clever. I like this level. It's very difficult, but it's clever. Uh-oh. No. Get out of here. I don't know if I'm doing any of this the way I'm supposed to anymore. There we go. Oh, 
Oh boy, we got a we got a balancing act. I see. Maybe. Yeah, I think that is what I need. No, maybe not. I can just come down here. Although if I had balanced on it, I would have gotten to a higher thing up there. Oh, whatever. I'm on top. Go down. Oh no. Oh, this isn't a good shape for these. Can I save it? Yeah. in a very bad shape. It doesn't want to let my wheel up. Okay. Okay, that was a good one, and then I ruined it. Please, please, okay. Push him down. the last one it should send me back to the tutorial. Yep. Let's give Diablo another crack. Oh, the fun. Oh, the joyous ex ex exhibition of joy. What am I even doing? Did we ever even come close with this one? This was, I needed to do the, the hook for this. That's what we gotta do. This was the closest I came to getting past the starting section. Inferno, I didn't quite get so as far. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> I was struck. <laughs> Give me the goddamn checkpoint. I gotta. Uh, I now have to go back and watch uh, Jack's run of this level. Not our Jack, Achievement Hunter Jack. Now that I understand the pain of running it. I say as but an infant struggling to get over the first obstacle. There we go. Alright, we could do this one. This could be the final level of the stream. We could get one of the three absurdly hard levels done in this game. Maybe. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Maybe I'm getting a little penisy. Might be getting a little penisy. not lose my speed as soon as I hit the wall there. If I start against it, I seem to be in a better spot. Maybe. Oh! Ah! Uh. Get him! Get him! Get him! <sighs> you ever feel like you're not getting anywhere in life? You persist. You struggle. You overcome. You overcome. And now I'm on a unicycle. Radical. don't remember those weird wheel physics happening in the later games. I think that's a Trials 2 exclusive. Imagine this in first person. There probably is a first person mode in one of the later games. These are the kind of devs that like to have like open workshop support and get weird with mods and custom levels and things. You know what? I... I there's no probably. There's definitely a custom level that is in first person. It might just be an optional ga uh, camera mode. You know what? fun yet? Mm. 
I wonder if someone somewhere has beaten the game like this. I gotta do the back wheel hook. That's my only hope. I don't think it's happening. I don't think first person is the secret to this particular obstacle. I'll bet I could do the easier levels in first person, though. That would be doable. Almost had the hook. We're doing it. Ah! Give me the back wheel up there. That's all I need. Even if I go over front ways, I just go straight into... straight into the beam right behind it. have to do the hook. I can drive straight up, apparently. Somehow. If I do if I do that I get sent backwards anyway so it's not helpful the hook seems like the only thing that could conceivably work here.
Just flipping forward sure isn't. Oh, I, I could I should have kept going forward. I might have got my back wheel on the beam that one. I just kind of have to just roll forward and hope that I don't brain myself. That's all my level of skill can hope for. I think I kind of got a groove. I'm going to start holding forward and then back and then forward again immediately. That's usually the way to get past a stubborn obstacle. These ones have to be so narrow, too. Like, even I can't rely on doing the back wheel hook thing. I'll just fall down the other side. There's not enough land for the wheel to land on. I make no promises that I will complete this level, but I'm committed now to at least try. This will be the last level of the stream. Maybe I can do one of the really easy levels in the first person to close it out. to at least get one of these levels, though. Oh, if only. A man in his futile dream. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh! Okay. So if I get really lucky, I can land my back wheel upright on one of those top parts and do a bunny hop over. I have to get real fortunate for that, though. some ultra pro trials player comments telling me exactly the series of inputs to do it perfectly every time this isn't a dynamic level nothing is changing between runs there is a perfect series of inputs to do it every time I just don't know it I think I rode up the wall just a little bit that one time that uh, I got. The one time that I got closest. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's the first time he even got to flip over onto the beam in a while. I feel a kinship with this driver. Suffering. Making noises. His experience is very similar to my experience playing this game. Hundreds of faults are we up to? I can't even see the tiny little numbers up there. more minutes. That's my limit. I'm not giving up yet, though. Never give up! <sighs> I'm now out of coffee. noises of pain and ecstasy. I'm getting close a few times. It'll happen eventually. Eventually, TM. What? Hmm. Is this doable? I don't think this is going to be doable. Continue doing them because I don't know what else to do. Should have kept flipping. I might have been able to hook my back wheel on the on that last that third one. Whenever I stop flipping, I realize I should have kept flipping. I just gotta keep flipping. I, I gotta keep I gotta flip and pray. Yes! And it went down the other side, and now I'm here. I'm getting over there more consistently. 
I'm getting to the flippy parts and getting caught on that now every time. We're making, we are making progress. Very, very slowly. Very slowly! We did it. What are these, hay bales? Wooden boxes? Not an alcoholic drink. I don't think that would help. Must be some special technique to going up these slopes. Maybe, maybe I'll try. I'll try the old faithful forward, back, forward. That killed me. turning into a motorbike. That's what's happening over the course of this game. That's what these noises are. Okay, up the first one. And dead. Please. Oh, what is this? What are what is this 3D shenanigans? Okay. Over the boxes. Back to tires. These tires are not generous with the checkpoints. They do not have a checkpoint on every single tire. However, once I'm on top, it should be fairly easy to jump from one to the next without falling between. Just getting on top from the ground. graduated from fucking boxes to fucking tires. I've come a long ways. I need to do some kind of little hop, because the tire's not going to go from the ground straight up. I know that's not going to happen. I'm struggling to do the little hop, though. Thank <laughs> you. 
get up. Just I just need you up there once, man. Well, the bike got up. some strange variation of the back tire hook I can use to help me here. I'm gonna guess not. I don't think that's the solution to this particular problem. I tried anyway. Maybe it is? Probably not. But it's possible. Maybe. Wouldn't it be cruel if there was an obstacle that required momentum from the previous checkpoint and now you're screwed? It would. I don't think they can do that. I mean, I guess they're the devs. They could if they wanted to, but they wouldn't do that. And, okay, well, I got over the first tire with the flip, but then I was not on top of the tire and in the place I needed to be to get to the next tire. I believe when testing custom levels, it's similar to Mario Maker, and they have to be... Like, you have to be able to get to each checkpoint from each previous checkpoint as a safeguard. I don't know for sure, though. So far, the only time I've gotten on the tire at all was with the, the back wheel grab thing. The hook. It's actually a bit harder than the than the box because I can't rely on gravity with just my front wheel on to roll forward. The 
curve of the wheel will make it uh, roll backwards. Like so. I wonder how much more of this level there is. Once again, at a point of being thoroughly out of commentary. It's now just trying the same thing over and over again and hoping for different results. Is what I've come to. But, hmm, what do I do with this? I just, I get to the second tire and I'm in the same spot. Like, if I do the back wheel hook, I can get on top of the tire, but I can't be in a position that I need to be in to... Maybe if I try to focus on somehow getting enough forward momentum to just carry my front tire over the threshold. I don't know how I can do that or if I can do that. But to just not roll back once I, my front is up there, man, that'd be great. Maybe I need to lean even more forward on my front tire. Maybe I need to get even more, I'm even crazier with it. No, that'll just roll me backwards fa faster. Maybe it's the opposite. I need to lean less once my front tire is up there. Seems like no matter how I lean, I'm doomed to just roll back off again that way. I 
I need to get into wheelie position and then somehow do a hop on my back tire. I don't know exactly how that would be done. Once I figure out how to do it, I'll be able to do it every time. I know it's one of those things. I just need to know how to do it. Oh. Oh, that was a start. I had my back tire up there br very briefly. doing, but it, I think it's very slowly working. Stand my wheel. Wheelie, somehow. Or wheelie hop. Ha ha ha! Ah, almost. There really is no solution in this game other than to get good. You just have to try different things until you find just the right combination of movements to do what you need to do. It is bullshit, but it is entirely skill-based bullshit. gonna get on this tire. Well, hmm. We're going to get upright on this tire. We're getting just ever very ever so closer over time to discovering the, the secret technique. We're gonna master a new ninjutsu that's never been seen before. Alright, stay on the wheelie. Did Orochimaru ever do anything cool again in Naruto? Did he, like, help against the Akatsuki, maybe? Something?
Kabuto got to go on and do stuff. Okay. I don't think my wheelie theory is bearing fruit anymore. It felt like I was making progress, and then it's, uh, just, I'm just not. I lied. Maybe we won't get over the tire. Maybe the tire will win. It felt so close, so briefly. And then it all just disappeared. I'm resorting to the, to the flipping again, the back tire thing. there for a second. I did not. Well, we're over the two hours, Mark. Do I keep going for it, or is it, or is it, am I good to stop? I feel like I have passed the point where I'm making forward progress. Let me go for one more attempt of the back high, the back tire took hook method. If I get another one of those and it fails, then I'll call this level.
How do I get the flip for that? one. Pretty please? Bane, I need your permission to die. I know I've gotten it. I've gotten it at least twice. Let's go back here. And let's do one in, in first person just to finish it off. I, for, I forget what the regular camera button is. Do it! I'm still- I still have to hold left and right to lean. It's very weird. Position 10 in the weekly rankings. Are there first person rankings? Alright, well that's quite enough of that. I didn't I didn't clear the the three most difficult levels, but I, I can I, I got all the other ones. I I can be happy with that. That's the end of Trials 2. And I will be back at some point with the next Trials game, which I believe is Trials Evolution. It's a little bit more... It's, it's little, definitely more polished. A little bit better of a single-player experience. We'll do a playthrough of that. I'm still doing Book of Mario on my own at some point. And I'm planning to do a stream with Jack tomorrow he has off. So we'll see what we can manage then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.